Installing the equivalent of 20 nuclear power plants in batteries over the last four years is a remarkable achievement. But battery storage is likely to double across the United States over the next 18 months. In other words, over the next 12 to 18 months, America will install the equivalent of 20 nuclear power plants worth of battery storage alone. That is a number not being talked about by the media in any way whatsoever. I wonder why that is. The United States has installed the equivalent to 20 nuclear power plants over the last four years. Sounds like a lot, right? But it's not in comparison to what America is actually about to do over the next four years. 20 nuclear power plants. That will end up being a hell of a lot more. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Guys, welcome to all the new subscribers. I think we've gotten about 20,000 new subscribers over the past six weeks. If you're new to the channel, we generally post around five or six videos per day. You're not going to see those in your feed. The only way to actually see all those videos is to click the all option. So you go to the bell icon and you click all, and then you'll see, well, actually you're probably still not going to see all of them. Maybe just go to the channel every day and you'll be able to see all the different news articles that I share on a wide range of topics, including nuclear. Where's nuclear going? Well, in my opinion, not very far. It's just too expensive. Solar and batteries are coming down in price seriously at an incredibly fast pace. And that's the key reason why Australia, our battery deployments are growing at a rate over the next 18 months of 7,200%. Crazy, isn't it? That's a real number. That's real data. Now, the US has installed an incredible number of batteries. In fact, Rapid expansion of battery storage in the US is happening and no one is really paying attention. No one really seems to be noticing what's actually going on. The US is implementing extensive installation of massive scale batteries to support the power grid all across the country. Warp News reports that the US is implementing extensive installation of large scale batteries to support the power grid. Over the past four years, the country has installed battery capacity equivalent to the production of 20 nuclear power plants. But the price of batteries of the past four years has come down by around 80%. So all of that, all of those batteries, which made economic sense at the time, make far more economic sense now. If you were to buy batteries today, you can get batteries that will probably last about 40 to 50% longer and are far, 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 far cheaper. During just the first seven months of 2024, five gigawatts of new battery capacity were added, says The Guardian. California and Texas are leading the development of and have recently seen record levels in battery powered electricity supply. In California, the batteries helped avoid power outages during summer heat waves when air conditioning was used a lot. In California, between six and 10 p.m., the primary source of electricity for most of the year is not solar because it's the sun's gone down right the primary source of electricity is actually fossil fuels well that used to be the case it's not anymore it's now actually batteries that have been charged by solar during the day battery storage smooths out variations in production from solar and wind and when the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining stored energy can be delivered to the grid Storage gives us a time machine to deliver electricity when we need it, says Joe Moura from the North American Electric Reliability Corporation. According to the US Energy Information Administration, total battery capacity could double to 40 gigawatts by 2025. So what that means is over the next year, the US is likely to install the equivalent of 20 nuclear, 20 nuclear power plants worth of batteries. That's crazy. And if you consider the fact that battery pack prices have come down by 51% over the past 12 months, that's from China, don't know about the US, but still battery prices have come down in the US as well. What that means is there's, there's much more compelling reasons for companies, manufacturers, and even individuals to install batteries than there ever was before. Especially when you consider the fact that complementary technology that charges those batteries is cheaper than it's ever been. The International Energy Agency's estimate estimates that batteries will account for 40% of the short-term flexibility in the world's electricity systems worldwide 
by 2045. 40% of the short-term flexibility. What that means is pika plants, fossil fuel powered pika plants, whether that's gas or coal or any other kind of pika plant that is not actually a battery, they will be disrupted. They will be bankrupted. If you're in any way invested in any kind of pika plant, that is the low hanging fruit. You don't want to have anything to do with those whatsoever. The future, my friends, is coming fast. And the future looks like this. Wind as baseload, that will be useful for sure, but batteries act as baseload as well. The majority of most grids around the world by 2040 will comprise of solar with energy storage. And the reason I say that is actually you'd be surprised. 90% of the world lives on the Sun Belt. Most countries that most people live in are actually remarkably sunny. Now, if you can imagine the cost of battery, the battery cells has come down over the past 12 months worldwide from around 91 US dollars per watt hour to $53. Companies such as BYD predict battery prices will fall a further 15% over the next 12 months. But Goldman Sachs says by 2026, they'll fall a further 50%. If you have a look at the cost declines of solar, they're actually very similar to the cost declines of batteries. Tony Sieber's wild predictions that the world would be 100% renewable or at least near 100% renewable within 10 years time, in my opinion, are not looking so wild after all. In a bizarre decision that doesn't appear to have been initiated by Donald Trump, the United States has decided to triple its nuclear energy capacity, triple it with an enormous expansion likely to cost hundreds of billions of dollars. The bizarre turn of events is coming at a time in which solar and batteries combined are cheaper than the cost of any form of fossil fuel energy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And I should point out, I have spoken at numerous uh, events recently on the declining costs of solar, wind and batteries, but particularly solar and batteries. And why I don't think nuclear on a logical basis is necessary. And it's also, it's also very problematic. I'll explain why in just a minute. Now the US is planning an enormous expansion, building hundreds of new large reactors and also small modular reactors. In other words, the United States is going to be peppered with nuclear reactors. 